Garrett Bowles is back after breaking his leg last season, says he's feeling good. Today we're talking all things about the left tackle. Hello, welcome into the studio. I am Phil Milani, alongside Cindy Jones, the Hall of Famer Steve Atwater, and Eric Delilah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, we've, we've spent a lot of time here the last couple of weeks talking about the offensive line, you know, protecting the blind spot there. The main guy, the left tackle, Garrett Bowles. Uh, what do you see from him out of practice uh, these last couple of weeks here, Steve? Yeah, you know, without pads, you can't tell a lot. But knowing Garrett Bowles and the player that he is, the heart that he has, Garrett Bowles, Go Bowles is on cloud nine right now with the guys that are surrounding him, uh, with the coaching staff and, and what they've done in the past. And I think Garrett Bowles is going to have a great year this year along with the rest of the offensive linemen. Yeah, we talked about it last week when we talked about Ben Powers just – caring about what you do on the field and having that sort of mindset, that mentality. We heard Garrett Bowles say, hey, we've got a bunch of dogs in this room between him and Powers and McGlinchey and Miners and Cushenberry. I mean, these are guys that are focused on imposing their will. And I think if you're Garrett Bowles, you've got a little something to prove this year because he came out last offseason and said, Russell Wilson's not going to get hit. He was hit previously in Seattle. That's not going to happen here. And then obviously, 55 Garrett, times. 55 times. <laughs> Garrett Bowles doesn't make it through the season. Lloyd Cushenberry misses a large part of the season. And Russell Wilson is sacked more than any quarterback. So if you're Garrett Bowles, you know, you've got to probably feel like I've got something to prove. I need to push back on this. Um, and I, I just feel like he's ready to have that success because he's had some individual success, but team-wise it hasn't come. And so, yeah, he, he's got to go, I think, back up his words from last year, this year. And even Sean Payton said that he's really impressed with what Garrett's doing. You know, he said he put in the time um, and energy and rehab and, and getting back to where he was at, you know, after suffering that leg injury early on in the season last year. And he's just really impressed with how, what he's been doing out at OTA practice and learning this new offense, too. I think Bowles had been relatively healthy his entire career oh, until yeah. uh, breaking the leg last year. So uh, good to know that, uh, you know, his, he's going to be dependable uh, for the most part here. The big thing for him, though, guys, uh, minimizing penalties, right? The holding, uh, the calls kind of starting to pile up there. But then for some reason in 2020, it all clicked and, and he had his big year. No, he did. He, he played well. He, he uh, lowered the number of penalties that he had. And I think playing along with the Ben Powers on the left-hand side there and then having Mike McGlinchey on the right side, uh, he can learn a lot from Mike McGlinchey because Mike McGlinchey has had a lot of success in the NFL. So I think they'll play really well off of each other, and he'll teach them some tricks of the trade. But as you know, and as I always say, on the offensive line, on every play, somebody's holding. <laughs> Steve, you don't like offensive That's line. A I love him. I love offensive line. That's a defense. Oh, my God. These guys are just not getting caught. Well, you said those two guys could be the best tackle duo in the NFL. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we heard McGlinchey say the same thing, and I think high standards are good. Then you've got to put the work in to go do it, right? And we heard Garrett Bowles talk about that. We heard Mike McGlinchey talk about the work that's going to be needed for this offensive line to take that next step because let's not forget we thought last year this offensive line was going to be much improved, and we just didn't see it. And so now, hey, does this better? Uh, does this group better fit what they're looking to do? I think Sean Payton said it was like extreme home makeover with what they did. <laughs> yeah. With yeah. Offensive yeah. line group. So it maybe it's less about the players and more about is this the better combination? And then you'll find success. And I think it's great that they said that they're already gelling. The chemistry is already there within the offensive line, which you know at this point in the offseason is really great to hear. Heading into summer break and then training camp and. <sighs> One thing that I really noticed that Garrett Bowles said, too, was that he's hungrier than ever. And you can see the passion behind what he's saying, too. How so. hungry? How many burgers? Or what, what are we yeah. talking about? How well, you're always pretty hungry. I'm always hungry. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, we talk about an edge to these guys. Uh, Garrett Bowles, a little bit of a sort of chip on his shoulder when he's up there at the podium this week uh, or last week. Uh, here he is talking about his quarterback and the vibe around Russell Wilson. He's the same guy. Um, he doesn't change. He's a leader. Um, He's been a leader, you know. He, you know, he's one of the most winningest quarterbacks in the last ten years. I mean, you guys know the stats, um, you know, and that's just who he is. You know, everyone's just out to get him because of certain things and, you know, random rumors and things like that. And then that just runs, and then the fire burns just like a forest fire. You know, when you start one corner and the wind blows, it just blows all over and burns thousands, and thousands of acres, and that's sort of what happened. And so, you know, he's not focusing on that. He, we just want to win, and that's all about us. Kind of an edgy comment there uh, from Garrett Bowles. Uh, what do you think? It seems like this whole offensive line group is coming in with this attitude now, Steve. Yeah, I, I think that uh, they take that personally. 
because it's really uh, an attack on them and the job that they, they're, they're, they've been doing out there. So uh, I know that they want to right that wrong. And uh, offensive linemen are judged on how many sacks they allow to their, on their quarterback. So that's a big source of pride for, the, for those guys. And, uh, you know, again, I feel really confident that this group is going to be much, much improved from last year's group. And let's not forget, there was a lot of noise toward the end of last season about who's yep. picking Russ up off the ground and what's going on on the side, all that sort of drama. Garrett Bowles wasn't out there for any of that, and he wants to make sure that he protects Russell Wilson. He keeps him clean. He's a guy that cares a lot about his quarterback, and so I'm sure he's going to go out there this year have that chip on his shoulder, want to make sure that Russell Wilson's not get, getting hit anywhere near the number of times he was last year. Yeah. There was so much hype about Russell Wilson last year during OTAs and minicamp. This year, that doesn't seem to exist, uh, certainly not at the same level. It seems like, you know, he's just a quarterback out there and he's just practicing, right? Yeah, I, I bet he likes that. I'm sure the rest of the team likes that. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the way it is once a, a player has been on a team for a period of time. So uh, there's a not, lot less fanfare going on about that and Russ can focus in on football, which I thought he did a great job of coming in last year, getting focused. But the system just it just wasn't a fit for everybody. Uh, and so I, I think this system will be a much better fit for, for everyone in the, in, the, uh, in the building. That doesn't mean there's not something to prove. We heard Garrett Bowles yeah. say – Everybody's going to eat some crow here once the mm, Broncos yeah. turn some things around. Hungry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> Hungry for life. Offensive line sets yeah. the tone. Yeah, I like right. it. I like it. All right. Well, that's going to do it for us for Eric Galala and Steve Atwater and Sydney Jones. I am Phil Malani.